she runs guys she cuts that is the free Craigslist mower I mean, she don't cut like a four thousand dollar zero turn but hey she cuts um, I'm gonna clean her up uh, get some pictures of her um, the only thing I did to this was clean out the gas tank and uh, put some fresh gas in it there wasn't really anything to clean out it was bone dry um, put a new fuel filter on it it had a brand new air cleaner in it air filter um, so all I done was cleaned out the bowl which had a little bit it wasn't bad but it did have some crap in it um, changed the fuel filter and put some fresh gas in her um, the battery is pretty much shot um, well I say that it started a while ago so maybe hooking that jumper box to it several times finally got it to do something this one here um, the battery terminals are pretty much rotted um, so all it did was click um, so I'm gonna try to do tinker with that maybe have to work sometime anyway gonna do a little bit of an update on some auction finds um, went to an auction today and I bought this sign so that is going in the garage or shop whatever you want to call it um, bought a set of snap-on allen wrench set for like 15 bucks i think i paid 10 for that and got a acdc lincoln arc welder 15 bucks works no i almost got it for 15 but they messed up um i actually paid 150 bucks for this um, I really needed one. My wire feed welder doesn't really go up that high, and I just can't really see spending $2,000 or more for a wire feed when I got a wire feed that uh, will do probably 3 16ths or better. But if I do any of the heavy Chevy approved stuff or anything any thicker, um, I need a bigger welder. So I got that one. I just got to get my zero turn out so I can put it in the shop. Um, so the trailer's cleaned off, ready for more horts. Um, runner driver mower, um, with a little bit of time. This one here, the one I had to take in order to get that one, is, uh, gonna need a little bit more work. And then, of course, we got the wagon. Then I'll take you inside and show you the primary reason. There's the wagon. Be the primary reason that I have auction funds. Bring y'all back. Hang on. All right, we're back. Um, this little truck, I think I paid three dollars for. Um, Mama had to get her some foo foos. Um, these were in a box for like three bucks. Don't know exactly who they are. Uh, w H. RC and RC, they both are stamped on the bottom, and then I bought the old Ford. But that's not the main thing that we got. Y'all may have remembered an auction, my very first auction where I bought, um, had a cutworm spotting at the auction. And we, uh, hang on. We, uh, Decided that uh, he, we decided to let the vehicle go with the uh, brother, uncle, something. Bought it for the daughter. Uh, grandpa had passed away, restored it for the uh, granddaughter. So we didn't get the car, but we did get Cutworm. And the other day I was at an auction yesterday, uh, which would have been Saturday. And we came away with a vehicle. Or cutworm it is a 53 buick i believe somewhere around in there um completely restored it's got the fancy little hubcaps on it um i was gonna try to get a badge for cutworm here well 
my daughter says he looks like the guy from Goosebumps. Um, but anyway, he's got his old riot gear here. We got that today. I was going to get a badge for him. I was going to put a hat on him. Um, Steve said he looked like Buford T. Justice. Anyway, I thought he looked kind of like uh, Cordell or uh, one of them from Texas Ranger or something with the tuxedo. Not too many cops wear tux. <laughs> anyway, but this is a cool thing. Check it out. He's going to pull somebody over. Yep. Um, picked it up for a hundred bucks. So Cutworm has got him a little cruising vehicle to harass the neighborhood. But anyway, that's why I, uh, that's the main pride and joy that I got. I've been looking for one of these little pedal cars for a long time. And now I got it. And he's got his little right gear helmet. And he'll get a badge as soon as I can go and find a little badge or something to put on him. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys.